right, so I was going to make this response as brief as possible, but I was trying to schedule this video on the final day of September. <laughs> oh my fucking god! I was originally planned to make this video in particular since, well, three months ago back in June. However, I was too busy doing other Let's Plays and other commentary videos at the time, so I couldn't have enough time to make this video in particular since last three months. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> I'd walk away slowly, call 911, and have you sent to a mental institute. But, it doesn't matter now. Today is a tremendous day, and I finally want to talk about this individual for a very, very, very long time. And that individual name is Anonymous slash Remain Selfless. Your patience has been rewarded. And I know some of you were thinking, Blue X, Aren't you the one that gave a shout out to him on your final video on Falconic slash Bloodlord EX? I was like, yes. Yes, I did. However, that was only on a neutral agreement when it comes to the Falconic Chaos slash Bloodlord EX situation drama. But we're not here to talk about Bloodlord today. It was a nominous turn to be shit on. And the terrible things that he's done. Since the whole drama happened since back on Twitter from the past three months in June. And I will be talking about that. However, this video will be part one. Part two will be coming real soon in November. Stay tuned for that. But until then, let's talk about the Twitter drama in hand. Before we get into the recent drama that Anonymous have caused on Twitter, I would like to give a shout out to Brandon Waters for providing the screenshots about his conversations between him and Anonymous at DeviantArt of all places. And remember, it took place back on May 14th when those screenshots were, you know, screenshotted. So I will read to you all these conversations. Hello Brandon, remember the time that I re-upload your videos during the lifespan you were terminated? Yes, honestly I wish you asked me for permission before re-uploading them, but they are already up on your channel as well as internet archive, so deleting them won't change much. Someone else will have to video archive on their devices. I get where you were coming from, and I respect that you wanted to help, but next time, message people first before you re-upload content, unless the people involved were guilty of any wrongdoings. Also, why did you want to bring this up? Because I wanted to show gratitude for you. By the way, do you have a Robert call? Unfortunately, no. I can confirm that he left voicemails on my dad's phone threatening me that he was gonna call the cops on me, and that he was hoping for them to bust my home store. He even called my dad a few times, bitching about me exposing him more on my Twitter. That's why I had to delete anything that mentioned his name. My parents thought of it as me linking his name, even though his name has been public on Facebook and an older childhood channel for years. I have a few apology videos and his videos messing with NTS and map archive, but I don't think it's a good idea to just share these videos willy nilly. Huh? I bet any of you were very confused by the fourth screenshot just now because it was relating towards the Falconic Chaos. Well, allow me to explain. Brandon thought Anonymous was asking him about the information about Falconic Chaos, 
But in actuality, he was too tired to realize at the time that Anomalous was really asking him for was giving out information about Robert Hayden. And any of you were like, what? Look, I know for a fact that he does not have any information about Robert Hayden. I mean, sure, he the only commentary videos he ever made so far was the Falconic Chaos situation. But to my knowledge, anyway. However, that's news to me that you were asking Brandon, of all people, about the Robert Hayden call. Wouldn't that make more sense for you to ask Lyle Convoy because, you know, he's the one with the Discord call with Robert Hayden? Just asking. Also, another question. Why ask Brandon about the information that he has no knowledge of? It just doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. Next time, ask Lyle Convoy or someone who have owned a Fake Bat Productions account about that video and not ask a random person about the information that he has no information of. Just food for thought. Food for thought. Twitter, on the other hand, Anonymous went way too far. Basically trying to drag Sacred Skyheart into dumb drama, which he wants no part of, to harass both Lyle and Matt. And yes, I am aware of Matt's own stupidity at the time. But with that being said, let's just continue. Luckily, he provided me screenshots about the Twitter DMs between both Sacred and Anomalies, and I will read to you all right now. IMPASTA! Uh, what? Never mind, it's Norbin behind this account. He's been trying to harass me as well. Please don't drag me into drama, thank you. Now, I want you all to keep that in mind. Sacred Skyheart was asking Anonymous politely to not drag him into drama. Now, what do you think Anonymous react? Did he say to Skyheart, say, okay, I understand, have a nice day? Nope, complete opposite. He basically have an ego trip and basically act like an anime villain or something. I'll do what I want, loser. I need help defeating Lyle and his evil friends. Then please call 1-800-I-AM-A-GIANT-PIECE-OF-SHIT. Really anonymous. After you tried to drag him into drama, he even asked you to not be dragged into this. And what do you do to return? You being a toxic little prick towards him. Are you serious? No wonder he blocked you. Normally, I would be against the idea of blocking someone on social media, but considering the fact you have been have a tad history to cyberstalk anyone on social media, I'm pretty sure that block was completely justified. I mean, hell, Brandon Waters even blocked you for being a toxic little prick online. I mean, hell, he even made a tweet about this entire situation, showing the screenshot that he indeed blocked you. It really got to the point that even Lyle Convoy of all people to alert everyone that Anonymous has been re-uploading the real Thomas's videos on Miss Emperor Pony without his permission. Are you serious, man? I had to give a shout out to Zaudin for providing a video about a Discord call between both Cosmic and Anonymous because oh boy, this is getting juicy! So basically Cosmic made a video having a Discord call between him and Anonymous in regards of the Robert call in particular. So I would provide the large video clip 
for small contacts for what's happening during and around that call. So, basically, um, I have gotten a hold of the call that you wanted, um, which I believe is named, as you, you, um, asked me just a minute ago, uh, you asked for the Robert Lolcow video and the Robert the Lolcow Returns video, correct? All present and correct. Right. I just want to ask before, you know, I give you, why are you, were you in those calls? Where, where, Ash? I'm not in those calls. I'm only, I'm only required because I want to see Sato, uh, shouting at Robert about how vile he is. Okay, because to me, having, like, having someone, so, like, borderline obsessed with them um is concerning and um why are you like borderline obsessed with them when they have nothing to do with you i don't understand but the only reason i'm somewhat obsessed but is because i i wanted to see um fucking over again and the whole rest of these senate members i do apologize if i possibly talked about them for six months straight but that's how it is. I do apologize. Oh, so you admit to me that you've been obsessed with people who barely know who you are and, um, you know, do their own thing in terms of everything? It's, it's, okay. Um, you realize how bad that looks, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's probably bad. It's not probably, it's a definitely. Um, how many, how many people have you asked for this call? Like... How many? How many people have you gone around and asked for like this recording? How? How many? Ten, maybe eleven. Include I. I'm like the latest one, yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I have asked Safia, uh, Brandon Waters, and uh, Colonel Gasmas, and uh, Queen Sarina, and uh, Baihi, and uh. What was the other one? Was Lyo on that list by chance? Oh, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Are you a hundred? I don't know. Are you two hundred percent sure about that? I'm sure. Well, why have you? If if that's true, why have you not? Um, you know, asked him. Surely he should. You know, have that recording, right? Considering, I believe. If my details are correct, he was in the call with Robert. Uh, the, only, the only reason I didn't want to ask is because I didn't want my parents to be called. What? The only reason why I didn't want to contact Maya is because I'm a kid, he's an adult. Well, why would, would he... Again. Hold on, hold on. Why would he... Why would he sit there and call your parents if you're just asking for a video? Something doesn't add up here. If you were so sure, it, if you want this video and you know Lyo was in it, logic would dictate that you would go to Lyo first out of everybody. Why are you saying that he'd call your parents if you just want a video? Because I commented down the past the locals video, yeah. I mean, specifically the re-upload. I commented down how much I want the the uh, the rubber call along with the rubber call. I would turn. He just put it on me. No, oh, knock it off. Wait, are you telling me to knock it off, or are you saying that Lyo told you to knock it off? I told me to knock it off. As you know, I've been uh, obsessively talked about him for talked about the Robert call since six months. Yeah, you really need to touch grass. The full video will be in the link in the description down below. Cosmic did an excellent job covering Anonymous since, well, Anonymous has been foolishly obsessing with that video since over six months. That's obsessive even for me. So, yeah, this has become a deep rabbit hole that we need to go further. And something tells me that we're not completely done 
quite yet.